Hi friends, my name is Mark, I am a mental health therapist, and welcome back to my mental health video series. Today's topic that we're going to be diving into is all about relaxation. So what does relaxation have to do with mental health? Well, for one thing, it decreases our stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline, which make us act like this, and increases good feeling hormones like dopamine and serotonin, which make us feel like this. Relaxation exercises also help lower our heart rate and blood pressure, so when your heart is like this, it slows down just like that. It also can help reduce the impact of stress and anxiety on our lives. Our relaxation exercises can take as little as five minutes each time we do them, and I'm going to show you some easy ones that you can do anywhere at any time. The first thing we can do whenever we're hit with stress or anxiety, our heart rate goes up, our brain starts thinking, overthinking, going too fast, uh, is just to sit down and breathe deeply for five minutes. Now, deep breathing is helpful for stress because what it does is it increases the flow of oxygen from your lungs into your bloodstream. So our lungs take up you know, about this much of our chest, all right? They're really big. So when we breathe really deeply and our whole chest and belly expands, that air is getting all the way to the bottom of our lungs. That's, and that's the best place where oxygen is transferred from our lungs into our blood, all right? It also teaches our brain that it doesn't need to be going too fast, teaches our heart to, to lower um, its beat rate, and overall just produces a relaxing effect. So when we do a deep breathing exercise, we're going to start with something called box breathing. All right, so in order to do box breathing, simply sit down somewhere that's nice and quiet and look at something that is a square. You know, maybe a picture in your house, or a table, or just anything that's generally a square shape. Or you could even just imagine a square like this one. The next thing you're going to do is just to follow one side of the box, the square, with your eyes, and breathe in for four seconds. All right? So breathing in, one, two, three, four, and then you hold that breath for another four seconds while you follow the line of the square with your eyes. And then you exhale for four seconds, following the third side of that square with your eyes. Then you hold that again for another four seconds as you follow the final line of that square with your eyes. And then you do that again. Four seconds, breathe in. Four seconds, hold. Four seconds, breathe out four seconds hold and you can do that for as long as you like as many times as you need in order to produce a relaxing effect all right so i'm going to pop that square back up on the screen uh, to help you follow this activity all right so first we're going to breathe in for four seconds then hold for four seconds Then breathe out for four seconds. Then hold for four seconds. All right, so now let's do it again. And now you've mastered box breathing. The second activity that we're gonna talk about today is called Five Senses Mindfulness. And this is a pretty simple one. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're going to take five minutes to sit down and focus on each of your five senses one at a time. Just examining and focusing on things that are within that sense range. Start with your sense of sight. Pick out five things that you can see around you. 
Um, think about what they look like, what shape they are, what colors are in that thing. For example, I can look around my office and I can see a painting. It's square and there's lots of red and yellow in it and green. So I focus on that thing for a mi moment and look around for another thing. I can see a curtain covering my window. It's white. It's also square and right now it's waving uh, because the furnace is on. And so you do that with five things one at a time. Next, focus on your sense of hearing. Pay attention to what kind of sounds are happening around you. Maybe you can hear the furnace turn on in your home or children laughing in the street or cars driving down the road. Just one at a time, pick out four things that you can hear and just focus on those things. The next sense to focus on is your sense of touch. Right? Pick up an object around you, maybe a pen or a book or whatever is just handy and take it in your hand and feel it. Right? We are gonna do this with three different things. Okay? So feel the texture, feel the temperature, um, you know, just generally feel what it feels like and think about it, right? You can do that with two other things after that, like, you know, your shirt or your pants or whatever else is around you. So focus on three things that you can feel. Next, we're going to focus on our sense of smell, right? So sit down and just smell what's around you. Um, right now I can smell sage in my home because I just burnt some sage. I can also smell a little dust from my furnace because it's blowing right now. So take a moment to sit for a few seconds and take in the different smells around you. And finally, focus on your sense of taste and just pick out one thing that you can taste. Maybe if you have a piece of chocolate or a small candy, or even just a small bite of food, you can put it in your mouth and think about all the different tastes that are part of it. If you don't have anything like that, just taste what the inside of your mouth feels like. Maybe you can, you know, have the aftertaste of something like coffee or tea. Um, and sometimes even just our saliva has a taste and you can focus on that. So box breathing and the five senses mindfulness are just two things that we can do in the moment to reduce our stress, reduce our anxiety, lower our heart rate, and otherwise get some feeling of relaxation. Now, what about in the long term? For long term relaxation effects, we talk about self care. All right. So self care is basically just doing meaningful things and interacting with meaningful people that fill us up in a sense, right? Help us re-energize. It makes stress feel less stressful. It makes anxiety feel less anxiety invoking over time. And these things are really important for us to schedule in our everyday lives as much as we can. So what are some examples of self-care? Meaningful activities can be anything like reading and writing, drawing, painting, or generally creating something, building, fixing, things like that. Meaningful people are the people that we can be ourselves around, who we don't have to hide who we are or pretend to be something different. Um, these are the people who we can share our struggles with and who will listen and be there and support us. And they're also the people who we can celebrate with, who will share in our joy without feeling jealous or try to compete with us or to tear us down. These people will help support us through the hard times as well as the good times. And these people are essential for our self-care. Finally, it's important to avoid some things when we're trying to do our relaxation activities. Environments that are really loud or distracting or don't feel good are generally places we want to avoid. Also, we should avoid things like social media and the news and other things that uh, we may read or see things that don't feel good or make us think badly about the people in the world around us. 
Alongside that, we should also be avoiding screens when we're trying to do relaxation activities. Things like TV, uh, cell phones, laptops. Um, unless we're doing an activity that's relaxing, such as connecting with a loved one through video um, or reading a book on your tablet, um, things like that. And finally, we should also avoid drugs and alcohol. These things uh, may feel like temporary solutions, but overall they actually affect our brain and body's ability to relax on its own. Well, that's it for me today, everybody. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope the next time that you all watch me, you're feeling relaxed. Take care.